So the annotate tool is this tool over here, and we click on it to write notations in the 3D viewport. These notes are for you or for people that you share the file with, they do not appear in the final render. And this tool does not care if you're in edit or object mode, it works exactly the same regardless. I almost forgot that when we click and hold on the annotate tool icon, we get a few variations of this tool. Annotate line lets us click and draw a straight line to another point. Annotate polygon will let us click and then keep clicking to draw a polygon. We right click when we're finished. And annotate eraser will erase parts of the currently selected annotation. And that's important. There are three ways notations can be placed in a 3D space. By default, the placement here is set to 3D cursor which means the notation appears facing your current view and at the depth of the 3D cursor. When we move from this view, the notation stays facing the direction it was facing before. You may or may not want that. The next placement option is view. And with this selected, we write a notation and it stays fixed to our view no matter where we move around to. This is just like we're writing directly on the computer monitor. The third placement option is surface. And with this, if we write an open space in the viewport, it works just like it did with 3D cursor selected. But if we write over an object, the notation will be placed on the surface of the 3D object. And this can be kind of useful. We can quickly change the stroke color over here with this color picker. It'll change the color of any other parts of this annotation, but I will show you how to use different colors for different annotations in a second. A lot of people make these strokes and then wonder how to get rid of them. And it's a fair question because there's no obvious button to clear, hide, or delete annotations in Blender. This box right here has the word note in it by default. And that's the default name of our first annotation in the scene. Click on it and it opens this panel with a bunch of controls for our annotations. The annotation we've made is a single annotation listed here. We can press the plus button to add new annotations. We can rename them. And we can work on these separately, giving each their own color if we wish. And if we press this minus icon, it deletes the current note and that's how to delete annotations in Blender. I'd love a like on the video if that helped or if that's why you came here, but I do have more. We can also toggle the visibility of each note independently right here. And this icon next to each note says whether we want the note to appear in front of objects, even if they're actually placed behind an object. And this is turned on by default. Here's an example of a note that's in front. And here's a note that doesn't have the in front setting turned on. We can adjust the opacity and thickness of each annotation. And if you use this feature a ton, you can think of these like individual notes. But we also have this box which shows blocks of annotations, and these can be like entire notebooks of annotations. Stay with me. So we can create a new block or quote notebook by pressing this icon. Set up more annotations, and then we can go between the two blocks, treating these like folders and these like individual notes. You can really go nuts with annotations in Blender if you want. My name is Brandon, and I'm really hoping to reach 100,000 subs as soon as I can. And if this video has helped, consider subscribing. Thanks a ton, and stay creative.